Have you always been the night's manager? It's my profession, yes. You chose it. I think it chose me. There are a few near perfect things in this life. The cooking of Eddie Wang, ACDC's Back in Black and Run DMC's Tougher Than Leather, the Golden State Warriors NBA season this year. And I would now add to that list, The Night Manager, the TV series. Debuting on AMC on April 19th, this Hugh Laurie, Tom Hiddleston, Olivia Coleman, and Elizabeth Debicki starring six-part miniseries is worthy of all of the accolades and adjectives that one can praise a show with. But this being the birthday of Samuel Beckett, I'm going to cut to the core, the Nobel Prize winning playwright so surgically did so often, and simply say that The Night Manager is great television. Watch it week by week or in one DVR binge, but don't miss the excellence that is this adaptation of John le Carre's 1993 novel of the same name. You will be the lesser for it if you do. Freddie Hammett was just here. He said he has just spoken to the man from Iron Last. Which man? Richard Rupert, the worst man in the world. Having been a ratings hit and cultural phenomenon in the UK earlier this year, the Suzanne Beer directed, AMC, BBC and Ink Factory co-produced, and David Fair written drama updates and tweaks its pretty rich source material, and then lavishly takes you deep inside the world of international arms dealing, Middle East unrest and uprisings, lifestyles and carnage of the rich and infamous to meet the worst man in the world, as Laurie's Richard Roper character is deemed. And, to paraphrase the ruthless billionaire British businessman, do a little swashbuckling here and there. You were a soldier yourself, of course. Yes, I was. You know what those weapons can do to a body. In the first Le Carre TV adaptation in over 20 years, I saw the light in Avengers star Hiddleston plays former military man Jonathan Pine, the night manager of the title. A shattered fellow who comes out of the shadows to infiltrate Roper's world for Coleman's uncompromising intelligence officer, Angela Burr, who was a man in the book, by the way. Of course, without giving away too much, I hope, in the process of getting close and sticking even closer to the very sharp and very vicious Roper, played like the virtuoso he is by Laurie, Hiddleston's pine must, to quote Coleman's Burr, become the world's second worst man. Which he does. Welcome to the family. Though Roper's installed right-hand man, played by Tom Hollander, certainly makes the title difficult to snag. Weaving and wafting through all this is Debicki in a career-making role as Roper's flame Jed Marshall, a woman fittingly for this crew with volumes and secrets and agendas of her own. What is obviously no secret is how good I think The Night Manager is, and what a near-perfect blade it is for AMC to cut deep into Tuesday nights with original programming. Now, there's going to be a lot more Laurie on American screens in the near future as the house star returns in Veep and takes on a two-season run on Hulu's Chance starting later this year. But before then, watch him and everyone else in The Night Manager now. You'll be very glad you checked in. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.